Let's protect ourselves with some nice, shiny pieces of armor. Let's see how to add those. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom armor to Minecraft. Now this is a very similar process to adding the weapons to Minecraft, because we also need a, well, custom armor material, similar to how we had the custom tier here. We also need material. Now, sadly, Forge doesn't make it too easy for us, so there's a few more steps involved, but I am sure that we will manage. So in our item package, we're going to right-click a new Java class called the Mod Armor Materials, and the Mod Armor Materials is going to implement the Armor Material Interface. And what we're going to do is we're going to middle mouse button click on the Armor Material Interface, and then press Control H right here to get the Armor Materials enum from Minecraft up, and we'll copy this one over. All of the code is of course also available to you in the description below in the GitHub repository or individual gist as well. But in this case, it makes no sense to type everything out because this is gonna be the same every time. So we're just gonna select everything, control C and then control V to paste it in. And we need to change two things. Of course, we need to change the instructor name here and then the class right here to an enum. And then no more errors should be present. As soon as you've changed the name of the constructor and changed class to enum, then everything should be working fine. Another great thing is that you also have all of the vanilla values right here with you. So you have everything available to you. You can take a look at all of the vanilla values and understand, okay, what is this? What is this? Some of this is a little annoying because you can see once again here, the parameters are not mapped, but no worries. Those are actually not too crazy because you can also see at what they are basically assigned to. So the names of the fields here, and then you can just say, okay, the first one is the name. Then we have the durability multiplier. We have the slot protections. We have the enchantment value, sound, the toughness, the knockback resistance, and then last but not least, the ingredient to basically repair this well set of armor with. So overall, this is not too complicated. Even though it looks quite complicated, it actually isn't that complicated. Of course, an armor has four pieces. So you see a lot of the int Areas right here. So we have int areas in the slot protections. We also here have a health per slot int area. So this would be the durability. And you can even see when we get the durability for a certain slot, what is happening is we're going to get the index of the slot. So 0, 1, 2, 3 for the health per slot. And then just multiplying this with the durability multiplier. So all of the arrays here start at the bottom with the 0 being the boots. That's very important. So this is boots, leggings, chest plate, and then the helmet. So that's very important to keep that in mind. This is the way that this is arranged. The same goes for the protection amounts as well, by the way. So let's just say we have citrine. Well, I think that it's sort of around diamonds. So I'm just going to change this citrine right here. And then we're going to change this to citrine as well. And then we can think about the, well, the durability multiplier. How much is that going to be? Well, 33, maybe a little bit too much. Maybe it's going to be something like 28. The protection amounts I'm actually kind of happy with. Maybe we're going to just get a little bit less in the leggings and then maybe like one less in the boots. So it's a little worse than the actual diamond, but the enchantability, maybe that's a little more like 19. And then the equip, maybe we're going to say armor equip gold right here. You can also see we can add the, this is would be toughness and knockback resistance. So that's actually how easy it is to add those as well. And then I'm actually going to make this a little bit nicer to read here. No worries at all. All of the errors here, there you go. We can also make it look like this instead of having the curly brackets in there as well. And then we're going to change this for mod items dot citrine dot get, of course, there you go. Now our citrine armor material has been successfully added. Now we can delete all of the rest. What's very important is that we have the everything ended with a semicolon here. And you can also see that if we have multiple different values here. So multiple different armor materials, they are separated by a comma. And the last one ends with a semicolon. This is just a normal enum, nothing crazy about it should be fairly self explanatory, all things considered, right. And now there is one more thing that's kind of crucial. And that is going to be in the name right here. So in the name, what we actually want to do is we want to return tutorial mod dot mod ID plus and then starting a string here, colon, plus this dot name. So this is exactly how it has to look like. Please make sure that this is written correctly for you. So you have to start with your mod ID, then the colon and then this name. This simply makes it so that the name that is being returned is under our tutorial mod namespace. This is going to be important in just a moment when we are actually using the textures. So keep that in mind. I'm also going to just delete 
the comment here because we don't need that necessarily. We also don't necessarily need the private, but you can leave it or not leave it. It's fine. So get rid of the import here. And otherwise, this would be totally fine. So everything looking great. Now let's go to the mod items class and let's actually create our four different armor pieces. For that, I'm just going to copy the citrine hoe and I'm going to make the citrine helmet. And this is, of course, going to be the citrine helmet. There you go. And this is an armor item. There you go. And the first parameter that it takes, it actually only takes three parameters. The first parameter it takes is actually a mod armor materials. That's citrine. There you go. And then a slot. This is very important that we, you choose the correct equipment slot. This is, of course, head for the helmet. And then we're going to copy this four times once again so just selecting it control c control v to paste it in and then we're going to say citrine chest plate and then of course the same in the name here very important once again all of this is available to you in the description below get a repository and individual gist as well make sure to always also change the equipment slot that's very important otherwise you know all of a sudden you would be wearing your chest plate on your head which of course would not quite be well what you would want in that case so this is leggings and this is of course legs and then last but not least the boots and here as well boots these boots were made for walking that's why the equipment slot is going to be feet and this is the registration done all of the four armor pieces have been successfully registered and they would be in game now but of course there are still some stuff in the json files that we need to do so first of all let's add the translation that's usually the easiest let's just copy this over should be fairly self-explanatory nothing you know at this point the translation should be pretty much just something that you just do without even thinking about it should be fairly easy and nothing too complicated here now let's also copy over the item model json files once again they are of course also available to you in the description below to copy over but overall they are just normal item model json files as you can see item generated and then just pointing to a particular item texture so that's all that there is to it same with the item textures let's just look at those as well and here we have the item textures as well and now there is one more interesting thing and that is going to be the layer because we need two files that are well that we have to display the armor in 3d when we're actually wearing it what i can advise once again is go to the external libraries and then go all the way down to net minecraft client extra 181 or whatever your version might be in the assets minecraft folder textures and then in the models armor there you have all of the armor models available to you to take a look at for example this is the iron this is the these are the two iron layers and they are well very interesting so you can see of course this is the helmet you know the chest plate I believe arm pieces and then here you have basically the leggings and the boots you're going to need those you know you can also copy both of those png files over and then modify them if you would want to but of course we have our own so in our textures folder very important assets tutorial mod textures right click new directory called models and then inside of that directory right click new directory called armor this is going to be the american spelling very important this is the american spelling without a u and then i'm going to copy over the layers now the name of those files is incredibly important so please pay attention to this it has to be citrine underscore layer underscore one so the name in front of the first underscore has to be the name that we're supplying right here so this one has to match this one and then it has to be underscore layer underscore one written exactly like this not with a uppercase l not with an uppercase e or whatever or with a space somewhere Please, exactly written like this. All right, so double check or triple check this and also make sure that you have, of course, the name returned correctly right here and then everything should work fine. And that is actually all of the things that we need to do to add the armor to our game. So let's see if it works. Oh, boy, we found ourselves back in Minecraft. As you can see, the armor has been successfully added to the game. So now let's see. There we freaking go. And it looks absolutely amazing. I do say so myself. Once again, this is all done by Nano Attack. So link is in the description below or in the credits file. Highly recommend check them out. Maybe, you know, maybe you want some of your own custom textures. Highly recommend to check out their Fiverr. So this is really cool and everything working exactly how you would expect it to. All right, that's actually how easy it can be to add your own custom armor to Minecraft. So once again, you are going to need the layer files. And if you don't have any of those, you can always go down to the external libraries down here to the assets textures folder right here and then just 
copy two of those over, right? For example, if you're like, ah, yeah, no, I want something that's similar to the iron layer, then you can just copy that over and also just, you know, try out a bunch of stuff. Just try out a few, well, different iterations of this, you know, add some pixels somewhere and just see how that is going to affect it. Because of course, if we then take a look at this, you can see, you know, some additional pixels here have been added to make, you know, sort of this cool helmet look. So that is, of course, totally, totally fine. And you can go as custom as you would want with it. So I highly recommend being open to experimentation. It's always the best thing that you can do. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.